What's that saying? It goes O to the M to the G, as in, oh my gosh, where have we been? Yeah, it's been a while since we put any videos up, but thought I'd throw something up today, talking about the new Lego delivery truck that you see there on the right which is the 60440, which came out just here in 2024. Was it July? So I got the set, put it together, and thought I would set it next to this 2010 set, which is 3221. And you pretty much can tell right off the bat the difference between these two trucks. Uh, the 2010 one is from is a six stud wide semi and trailer that you see there and then of course the uh 2024 version is like dragundo good thing i kept all those old road plates in my city because man i dumb new road plates this thing is just going to take up both lanes i would think anyhow so here's what you see between these two sets and believe it or not, there's a couple other sets that came out. Uh, was it uh, 10156? Um, I think that one was back in two, 2004. And then another one in, uh, was it, the set number is 2148, which came out in 1997. Basically, those two sets are just a, just a semi portion for a delivery truck. I, didn't, I don't have those sets. I won't show them, but if you want to look them up, you're more welcome to. What is again? Uh, 10156 and then 2148. So, I got this, this one here, the 2010-3221. I got it used. Um, paid a pretty penny for it, but I really wanted it. And it's a, a set that's hard to get these days. And then, uh, of course, you're looking at the newer one, and when that, actually, it's funny, funny story. I got this one probably no more than maybe a month. I mean, I'm not kidding you, not even a month. Then this one came out. So, yeah, and it was just hilariously funny because I was like, oh, $100 for this one. I don't know, Lego comes out with the big new one. That's okay, though. I like them both. All right, so what you see here is on the new Lego set, on this new semi, you get a forklift. You get a bunch of uh, Lego boxes that are on pallets. So there'll be some in this one here too. And then uh, you get four minifigs. Um, one that is a, uh, you know, they're like, they work for Lego, I guess. Um, this one here, it comes with a, it comes with a helmet or hairpiece. And then you got one dude with a beard. Uh, and then a seat. You got a lady over here holding the phone. You got the hot dog stand. Like a lot of people that I've seen in videos that are all said the same thing. It's like, why was a hot dog stand put in here? But Lego loves hot dog stands. So how many people have noticed this already? Notice the colors of the hot dogs themselves? Now, I just noticed it in these sets. Maybe, uh, or in this set, maybe it was in other new ones. But do you remember they always used to be red? not this kind of uh, brown color, which looks like a real hot dog, but I saw that change. I was like, hey, wait, the, the dogs have changed color. So maybe that's why they wanted to put this in here. Okay, anywho, back over to the older set, the 2010 one. Uh, you get two minifigs. I'm assuming one's a driver, and then the other one is like, works at the Lego store. And you get, uh, what is that, uh, four, five, six, six bigger boxes and uh, three smaller boxes, I guess. And where's that on those sets there? You got uh, the fire, um, what is that? City fire set. And then uh, check this out. You actually got the semi on the, on the set there. It's pretty cool. And then you got a police set, a few of those. And then back over here on the 2024 version, you got, I should have got a little bit of glare there, but let me pick this up. Uh, 
So you got some off-road vehicles, uh, looks like a helicopter, police helicopter maybe. And then I believe this is the uh, the prison prison set. Um, so it'd be the sea, ocean sea prison set. And then you got a, uh, what's the other one? It looks like a, a rocket, shuttle rocket there. Okay. So when you look at them, I'm like, oh, wow, it's a big semi, like I said. I mean, it's really big. And I like the way they did the doors here. I don't have any complaints about this one. There's no stickers. Um, wait, was there stickers? I don't remember now. Uh, yeah, there's stickers for the hot dog stand, these ones. Um, but these were already, these ones here, they're pre-printed on the side. Where unlike the older version, um, you had stickers for it. If you notice, this sticker is crooked. It's driving me crazy. Uh, I ain't going to pull it off. I'm going to leave it alone. But uh, so, yeah, you got a lot of space here. It's a big, big trailer. A lot more. You got a, you got a fork left. If you look at this, it looks like I could probably put this, the older semi, inside of this trailer. That's how big it is. Anyway, there you go. This is the two sets. Just thought I'd talk about the two of them because it's kind of neat to put the older and the newer ones together. I think Lego did a good job on this newer version of the of the semi, but relatively it looks similar, very similar to the older one. When you put the two of them together, I mean, you still got some of the same characteristics that you see. You know, like the slope flunts. Um, what else? Uh, the yellow and black mirrors to get out to the sides here. Even got the, you know, like this would be up in your bunk area with some windows. You see them both there. Um, of course, now on this one, you only have the side access doors. There's uh, a set on each side. I'm just gonna get that in there. But anyway, and then of course you have your uh, your rear doors. Um, what else? So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hmm, I'm thinking what else I could point out. I would say, I mean, like I said, I like them both. I do. I, it's a little hard having an, an eight stud wide set like this, you know, in a Lego city. It's almost like there's just more of a display of the semi trailer, but I'll fit it in there. I did have this one sitting at the back of my Lego store, the actual set store. Like they were unloading there, so maybe I'll have this one uh, at a different Lego store location if I get a dig different one or a bigger one. All right, well, there you go. And as I would say, we keep trying to get more videos on here, we really do, but there's so many things going on for us here at Brick Elders. You know, sometimes we're going, man, I think we probably, uh, you know, people thought we fell off the planet, but we didn't. We're still here, and we'll keep put, putting them up whenever we can. But thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching them, and we appreciate you just checking out our channel. Okay, that's it. See you next time.